next presenter, Patrice Muzart, is another of our international guests, um, arriving here from Aspatar Hospital at Doha, Qatar, and uh, training in France, discussing this afternoon isokinetic and functional performance in Middle East professional football players, the influence of injury history and playing position. First of all, as a French physio, I would like to say um, if there is any New Zealander in the assistance, you've been very lucky to win the, the rugby final. <laughs> okay, so what we did during the 2010 soccer preseason in Qatar, so we managed to screen all the first division player, so which is a more than 200 uh, player. This was, oh, sorry, this was done in uh, Aspeta the Qatar uh, Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Hospital in collaboration with the Qatar Football Association. So what we did, we took uh, different measurements. So the sprint ability, the vertical jump, the muscle power with the Biodex uh, uh, dynamometer. Then we record the injury history and we took some anthropometric measurements. And I'm going to present you the, the results and mainly the characteristic of our population. So if we look at the anthropometry, so you can see the height and the weight of the different player for each playing position. So first of all, we can see some difference between the playing position and uh, our goalkeeper and the central defender are um, bigger and taller than all the other player. But more interesting, if we look at the mean value, so with the uh, one meter 75 and uh, 70 kilo, our player are much lighter and uh, smaller than the European, uh, European player, according to the, the previous study of uh, committee in 2001. Then if we look at the physical performance, so here you can see the spring time in second and the vertical jump in meter. So we can also see some difference between the playing position and the uh, forwarder are faster and jump higher than the, the, uh, than the all other position. So the forwarder jumping higher than the, the goalkeeper is quite, it is quite strange, I have to say. But if we look at the, the mean value, we can also say that our player uh, are sm um, run less fast than the European player and our worst jumper than the European player as well, according to committee in 2001 as well. Now, if we look at the injury history, so you can see, we, we found that 24.6% of our player have had uh, an hamstring injury. And this uh, number is in accordance with Iraq, who did a prospective study with the Qatar national team and uh, he found that uh, the Qatari player, even if it's difficult to compare with the other study because the, the method of measurement can be different, it seems that the Qatari player uh, have more risk of injury than the European player. And if we look at the ACL injury, we found that 10% of our player have had the uh, ACL injury, sorry. But the interesting finding was that for all the players who had undergone ACL reconstruction, we found, when we look at the physical performance, we found that all these players had a higher hamstring and quadriceps peak torque value across all test mode, around 10 to 20 person. So this is quite strange, and uh, so these players are stronger than the player who, are not, who, who was not injured. So what's the reason? So it can be a reflection of comprehensive rehab, but clearly it means that the player in rehab work harder with us than with the physical coach uh, in the club. Then if we look at the isokinetic test, and if we look at the hamstring to quadriceps ratio, so the, the ratio at 60 degrees per second, so we can see that our player have a ratio around 0 0.52, which is quite far away from the Biodex user data. We recommend a ratio around 0 
and it's even less than the ratio of 0.55 um, that Crozier in 2008, uh, in a prospective study, he found that with the ratio of 0.55 and above, the player have a higher risk of injury. Of injury, sorry. So we need further investigation to know if this value of 0.52, um, I mean, if we have to take this value as a specific consideration or if this player with a low ratio have more, more risk of, of re-injury. So, um, this league, we are at the beginning of the professionalism in Qatar. So this is the first step of the professionalism. So we have big hopes that all these players will increase their physical performance. And we have already some evidence that uh, a target training can increase their, their performance. So this was the first screening that we did. It was quite hard to set up because we screened all the first division player, but we have very nice uh, facilities in Aspeta, in our hospital, and uh, we can, in the future, do some more measurement. So we started this year. We have taken the more hardcore measure like abduction and abduction strength, quadriceps and um, hamstring strength with dynamometer. And uh, we've started to, to, to record the injury, so injury surveillance. So now we just started a longitudinal uh, follow-up of our player. So in the future, we can have very good data and we can, uh, we will be able to give you some more interesting data. So I would like to thank two Australian physio that you may know. First of all, Tim Mitchell, he was from Perth and he works with uh, Peter O'Sullivan. And the second one, who is a very well-known physiotherapist who actually worked with us in Aspeta, who took over all the research stuff. Rod Wiley, that you may not recognize here. It was taken one week ago uh, during a presentation in, in Qatar. Thank you very much.